Virgo. Welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, smash that like button and do subscribe if you enjoy the, the readings. <laughs> and you can also join my channel and become a member for $2.99 per month. All right, so we're going to take a look at the week ahead, Virgo, which is, oh yeah, daylight savings. Wow. Hope everybody managed to um, get a little extra shut eye in the morning. Okay, let's see. So, March 11th through the 17th. Okay. Heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning, hammer, sabotage, putting a nail in it, rebuilding, for being persistent, working on something here. Okay. Let's see. Oh, axe. Holy shit, you guys. So, I mean, straight off the bat here, it looks like, did you give someone the axe last week, or are you doing it this week? Let's see, someone's like pretty, like, feeling lost about this, okay? Um, perhaps you're trying to rebuild yourself. I feel like you might get some communication from someone if you ended something like interrogation like what why what's going on there's a stopping the pattern of perhaps silent treatment there's abandonment issues feeling a lot of that this week you might be feeling heartbroken um there's some kind of separation so it looks like in the past maybe last week or the week before whenever there was some kind of sweet communication um <clears throat> that was occurring it was light. Uh, it doesn't look like it was anything serious with the Page of Cups. Light, sweet communication. Um, very mild. Mild, emotional type of talking, texting, calling, that kind of thing. Nothing serious here. Just kind of taking it easy, going with the flow. Um, let me see the present energy here for you, Virgo. Hmm. So you're definitely going after something. The struggle is with justice. This could be Libra. The struggle is how to fix something or how to make something right. I feel like this week, at least starting now, you're on the move, Virgo. You're you are on the move. You're doing something in regards to perhaps maybe ending a relationship like you're very fiery and passionate about this like you're just done you know the knight of wands can be a very like you know rushing rushing like feeling like gotta do this gotta do this it's a, it's a very chaotic it can be a chaotic energy but it's it's a forceful energy um to seek some kind of justice you're are you seeking some kind of justice or giving out some karma, karmic justice. Let's see. Like, you're on it, though, this week. I feel like you're... <coughs> Excuse me. Your feet are going before your head, perhaps. Um, now, why is... I feel like you're ending something. Why are you ending something? Let's see. What's driving you to do this? You want some kind of change in your life this week, Virgo. Look at all this night energy. You want like a, a change. You want something to be different. You want something to change. Let's see. Another card here. Like you're moving really swift. Like you feel like you're you're in a rush. Okay. Hmm. You don't want to keep casual connections with people or a person. You want something more serious. Um, or you are cutting somebody off swiftly because you feel like they are playing around or um, not being like they're just being very flirtatious with others maybe it's something that you know it's not it's not good you're there somebody's not giving you like full-on attention perhaps um, just kind of like I don't know I like to say uh, kind of breadcrumbing I don't have the breadcrumbing card here but you want to try to have your own social life, maybe start dating other people. 
looks like something is definitely ending here. Let's see what your thought process is. What are you thinking? Yeah, the sun. You want joy. You want to be happy. So something's got you kind of kind of swayed here. Something's got you like, I don't know if you're sabotaging a relationship. You might be trying to rebuild yourself, maybe interrogating yourself. Like, why did I give somebody any amount of time? Why did I do something? It's always the same thing. Very rep rep uh, repetitive type of behavior. Um, someone was very persistent, maybe wanting to work on it. Um, and I feel like there's an act, like with the acts, it's like you're stopping some kind of pattern. Maybe there was silent treatment or a feeling of abandonment and you're abandoning another person. Could be a Leo, could be a Libra. You're abandoning something here. Somebody's, there's definitely a feeling of heartbreak. Now, <clears throat> Somebody's going to move from the Page of Cups to the Knight of Cups, okay? <clears throat> so that's like an increase. There's definitely an energy going forward where um, love's gonna, love offer is going to come in, okay? Um, hmm. I just want to get a clarifying card for the sun because I feel like you're really seeking new opportunities. You're tired of, of being grieving or being in a grief position. You're tired of not being able to see the opportunities that come to you um, because you're just constantly upset over somebody or a relationship that's just not really... Somebody might have came in in the past and apologized or tried to reach out to you but didn't do anything. You might have requested or, or told somebody that you need more than this mild communication in a relationship and I don't know it's kind of iffy because I kind of get a sense that somebody really wanted to work on it or try to do something and I feel like somebody still does but you you I feel like you're in a hurry Virgo you might be like feeling like you're in a hurry uh, maybe there's a relationship that went on really long and it just doesn't seem to ever get past this dating or this, you know, carefree kind of energy. But here comes the Knight of Cups. Here comes somebody trying to make their way in. It could be a Pisces. It could be a water sign. I'm making a love offer, but let's take a look and see. A little more clarity. Okay. Yeah. Well, of course, they're going to try. Um... But there's some kind of restriction on this love offer. So they might not be able to get through. You might not be seeing it. Um, maybe you are just, you might be self-sabotaging or this person self-sabotages and tries not to have the relationship go forward for whatever reason. They want to keep messing around, perhaps. Um, or just messing around doesn't necessarily mean cheating. Um or infidelity it could just mean not t it's not the three of cups is not a serious card it's like communicating with everybody talking to everybody just having a good jolly old time and um not that relationships can't be that way but somebody just maybe flirting just it's party time you know what i mean it's party time so yeah I don't know. I, I feel like you might be, if this is someone in particular that you, you're resonating this reading, I feel like you might be this week like withholding yourself from any kind of love from this, this person because they might try to come in and get, yeah, see, you're, it's definitely you. You're, you're, you're gone within this week from someone or just in general in a uh, love, but it looks like with this a person here it could also be um another virgo it looks like you're just like i need time to myself that's kind of your energy and this person is going to try to get through to you and try to bring this love offer of um but it's it's romance it's romantic so they might try to romance you just understand the knight of cups is not serious card it's it's just it's like a night out like a really night nice romantic dinner or something but it's not serious I don't know if this person is just not capable of giving this. They have like maybe some mental issues. Or maybe you do. Right? I mean, who doesn't, right? Everybody's got something. So, um, let me take a look at your advice here. There's a lot of sabotage energy. 
so it could be from your side it could be from their side or both are you both sabotaging the relationship like one does something and then the other responds to that the same way and then you know taking turns i keep hearing some weird weird sounds okay oh your advice <laughs> <laughs> do not entertain this fantasy is what i'm hearing okay pay attention if you've been ghosted or someone's giving you the silent treatment don't forget that do not forget that there might be somebody who is just non-committal or they live in some kind of fantasy world and pay attention to your own dreams and your wishes um I feel like also take a look and see you know when I look at these chalices and all these goodies in the clouds here it's like they're not real you have to I guess it's the advice is to pay attention to something here is not what you think Virgo this relationship or a particular person they're not what you think they They, they might come across as being enticing or kind of like making a lot of promises that they're going to do this, they want to do that, or they say this and they say that, and but it's all fluff, you know? And look, look at that ghost right there. It's like, and then they disappear, but they're but maybe they hover, they're still around, but then they're not there at the same time. Your advice is not to entertain anybody who's going to ghost you. Like, there is apps in the day and age that we live in, okay? There is absolutely no reason for anyone to not even respond with a simple call or text. We just, not in this day and age, there's no excuse for that. And if they do, <clears throat> um, if they're not able to communicate, the mature thing is to say, hey, really busy right now with work, I got stuff going on. Can I call you later or I'll call or give you a time um, and vice versa? You know, um, this is a total like ghosting apparition, someone that you are trying perhaps or were trying. You're not trying anymore. Like this week, it looks like you're, you're giving somebody the ax. You're done. And, and in general, if you don't have anyone in particular, you are just putting the ax on types of people like that. You're just like, no, don't want it. Okay, let's take a look and see. External, this other person or people. Okay. We get the magician, Gemini energy here. Let's see. Mm, King of Wands. So, could be a connection. This person, well, I'll just say they're showing up here in the King of Wands, which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. Also have Pisces and Gemini. So, I feel like this person is going to wait around for you to, so if it's a person, wait around for you to kind of reappear or they must think that you are overthinking or too much in your head. Wow, that's effed up. Either they think you're overthinking or you're too much in your head or you'll be back around again. You're sorting things out. They're going to wait. <laughs> so, you know, they're going to try to reconcile with you when the time is right. Yeah, I feel like this person, whoever they are, could be a Taurus, could be a Capricorn, or could be a Scorpio. I feel like this person has this... Um, they'll reach out to you when the time is right for them you know what i mean so they're kind of one of these people who it's on their terms perhaps i don't know virgo doesn't feel like doesn't really feel like it's healthy feels like a power play with someone here yeah Okay, so in your hopes, I mean, you've got the Two of Cups, so there is this desire to make a love connection, whether it's with them or with someone else to be on the same page. I mean, but you might fear that you are not, and that's why you are giving this relationship, this connection, the acts. That's why you're ending something here. Um, 
Let me see their feelings about you ending something here. Hmm. They'll be a little bit confused. <laughs> I don't even understand that. Why would somebody be confused? Maybe you just cut them off or you just go ghost. Or maybe you don't say anything. You don't explain. You just go. Okay. So their feelings are definitely going to be a little bit of like an emotional roller coaster. And they're going to try to stabilize. Yep. They're going to try to stabilize. Okay. And just kind of like maybe just go back to work or just... <laughs> Yeah, they don't want to feel the, any kind of like breakup or heartbreak or something. They're, they may try to, they're just going to try to like, they might also be juggling another. So, or maybe try to, yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, Virgo, I don't like it. I don't know who you're dealing with here or who this person is. But um, these are not really emotional cards, but they are definitely going to be heartbroken or feeling like, you know, what the hell happened or what's going on or why i don't know if they're clueless i mean if you told somebody that you know you want the relationship to be different or you want something more and you were very serious about that and you wanted that to happen um what was their energy about that hmm well definitely willing to figure that out however with this being the apprentice card i feel like this is something that this person would have to learn how to do yeah a little bit like oh i don't know uh <laughs> king of cups it could be a connection also with a water sign like i said so kind of like hmm i don't know if i can do this on my own I have to figure this out. I'll have to learn how to do this. Um, feel my way through, which is definitely a water sign energy. You know, um, you're going to have to show me how to do this. Uh, I feel like this person, if you asked them for like a commitment or something along those lines or said that's what you wanted, um, I feel like it's a yes for them. But I don't know, Virgo, something with you... Maybe they didn't tell you yes, or they said yes, but maybe they said yes, but didn't really do anything or were waiting for you to take the initiative. Yeah, even so if it's like a commitment or marriage or anything that become makes you both more exclusive. I was, I was asking something with you. You might not trust this person. Or go, maybe don't trust them or trust that they're going to stay. Like maybe you, maybe you ran away before they could run away or, you know, like in a protective mode, um, you don't maybe trust them. Maybe they, there's something to do with deceit, deception, lies, trickery, that kind of thing. So mm. let me see the outcome for this, Virgo. All right, judgment. So huge revelations are going to occur um, by the end of next week. I will tell you that. What are you going to realize? Like there's some kind of wake up call between you and like it's the total outcome for two people. This is like total judgment. Like I feel like this week, Virgo, you just seem like you just want to be on your own this week from a particular person who... I feel like you might be further ahead than another person here as far as what you want out of a relationship and somebody's still just having fun. Um, I'm going to go into the extended reading. I'll leave a link in the description box below because I want to take a look and see what this full-on outcome is going to be. Um, there's definitely a wake-up call. There's definitely an energy of like, I know what I need to do. I want to see, like, for you and for another person going further into the week and the month. But let me pull some other messages here. I want to take a look at the messages of love. 
Okay, acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. Hmm, Virgo. This might be something this week you come to terms with. Like, oh, okay. Well, it is what it is. There's a reason for this. I don't know what's going on. Friendship leading to more. <clears throat> so this could be something with a friend where you guys are flirting or maybe it's a friend with benefit, which is not the best scenario for some. However, it might be that you want more out of it. That kind of thing um, is... Uh, <sighs> Yeah, hold on. Oh, there's the awakening card here. There's, oh, okay. So we're going to save that for the extended. But I just want to see. All right, right now you need self-care. And you need to pay attention to children or be around children at this time during this week. As part of your self-care. And maybe some of you wanted children. Or maybe somebody didn't want children. That energy, um, a little difficult. Healing. It's definitely a time for healing. This relationship might trigger old wounds. And uh, find some time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy. Okay. Um, I don't feel like that applies to this person in this reading. I feel like that's, you know, applying to you and people in your life. I feel like you and this person are on different pages at this time. But I do feel like somebody's willing to uh, learn how to be on the same page. But there's not a lot of effort being put in. There's a lot of passive energy here. And even with the awakening, I feel like if you have ended something with someone, like I said, we'll go into the extended reading. Um, we'll see what they have awakened to or what they're awakening to. I know that they're this time. Yeah secretly yearning for you this week they will be and strictly sexual is like yeah there's a lot of passion for sure and maybe you have a lot of physical passion for this person but there is also this energy of like wanting with that knight of swords something more than just social fun times that kind of thing so let's take a look and see what chinese signs might be showing up here for you and or this person. Okay. Year of the dog. Year of the rabbit. Year of the horse. Year of the pig. We have the dog again. Year of the ox. Year of the monkey. Double monkey. Year of the tiger double ox and year of the goat okay interesting very very interesting all right let's take a look and see some okay 1986 1990 september 3rd august 26th 57 1957 or age 57 the letter C and the letter E for initials. The letter H, the letter A. Someone is 34. Someone is born, oh, uh, somebody might be a Capricorn. I'm just hearing, you might be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, the letter V, the letter I. <clears throat> Someone is 38. Someone is 50, we have the letter O. Someone's birthday is October 31st, the letter D. Okay. And 1965, um, or someone's 65, we also have September 7th, and the letter N. Oh, and then it flipped to a T. Um, All right, they're giving me neurotypical or neurodiverse. Okay, August, uh, not August, September 14th, 1970. Something to do with a zoo. There's a connection to a zoo, I just heard. Somebody is struggling with erectile dysfunction. 
Okay. Uh, Dave, David, I just heard. Okay, August 23rd. Or someone's last name is Davey. Okay, let's see. Oh, we've got a V again. Uh, last name is Vu, V-U. Someone is 40. All right, let's see if we can pick up a sign that this person might be whom you're connecting with. Give you a little more clarity or confirmation. All right, Leo, Cancer, Capricorn. Leo, Aquarius, Pisces. Pisces, Capricorn, Pisces, Pisces. Heavy duty Pisces energy. So I did say there was water. Okay, that resonates for you. Great. If not, move on to the next. Doesn't mean it's not your reading. Let's get some charms. Okay. What the heck is this? Got a whole bunch of stuff showing up here. Oh, an umbrella. Okay, might be raining where you are. Is it raining where you are? Heavy due to umbrella energy. You might be getting a heavy rain or a lot of rain in your area, which is quite unexpected. You also have fearless. So your message here is to be fearless this week extremely fearless like be fierce do not go out of your like don't don't cower i'm hearing virgo don't back down um you also have a monkey so again this could have something to do with someone born in the year of the monkey but remember i said a zoo there was a connection to a zoo or someone is like either reminds you of a monkey or you call somebody monkey like it's a nickname like a pet name you also have a leaf Oh, yeah, okay. So you're definitely leaving someone this week. I see you're just leaving. You're getting out of the scene, uh, uh, like leaving the scene of the crime. I don't know what the hell. The oh, this is, oh, okay, that's weird. At first I was like, what the heck is this? But it looks like a bunch of clamshells, but it also gives me a feeling of a muscle. Uh, like muscles, do you like muscles? <laughs> you know, like seafood, muscles. So some, some connection to mussels or seafood. Maybe somebody really loves mussels. I don't know. <laughs> I just, it is what it is. Um, just a couple of extra messages for this week. And then don't forget, um, if you want to find out like the total outcome of this situation here, um, the, you have an awakening, this person have an awakening, or just them to see like, what they come to realize what they need to do the link will be in the description box below and okay you've got challenges virgo so take time out from problems or conflicts or approach softly to avoid making matters worse okay so you might be cutting off contact or reducing contact with someone this week depending on your situation um it, it seems like whatever you're just kind of pulling your energy back, take some time out um, or just kind of go with softness, approach softly. Just try to be detached from a situation this week. Here you have friendship. Remember, a friend needs your help, your kindness, excellent counseling skills will put them back on track. You might have someone who's reaching out this week to try to get some information from you because they need some help as well could it be this person it could be and you also have planning now is the time to lay down the found lay down the foundations for your future wow virgo this week is really significant for you like what you need to do for yourself financial gains are more than likely so i feel like this week going forward like you're putting some priorities in place you're sorting yourself out um if you've got a relationship here with someone that they are just kind of hemming and hawing about progressing it, you might be dis it looks like you're deciding to just pull away from it or end it or just go silent or what have you. You know, <clears throat> they don't look like they're going to be too enthusiastic about the fact that you're pulling away, but we'll see if there will be any change. All right, you guys, so hope you enjoy that. Go over to my extended reading. Link is in the description box below and see if you um, if anything resonates there for you. And um, yeah, thank you all for being here. Hope you had a great weekend, and I'll see you all back here tomorrow. Bye. 
Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.